It's great. Three years in a row, the group of guys that I really like. We're a good team, and hopefully we can make a good showing there. Uh, talk overall about your performance. I mean, they, they got a man on you, on you here and there. You give up the one run there in the middle. But, I mean, overall, what was working for you tonight on a very good performance? I threw a lot of change-ups, more than normal. I'm kind of the guy that throws a fastball to set up his change-up, and I rely on hitters going after it. And they were very aggressive tonight at the plate, and we had great defense behind me, so it just makes it easier. I have confidence in all the players around me, so I just let them hit the ball. We'll pick it up. And then overall, I mean, obviously it's nice when you get a little cushion. I mean, that big inning right. uh, had to have felt pretty good, I'm sure. We get those leadoff guys on, and we move them around and get a few runs on the board, and it's just it means a huge difference, you know. We got guys that when they get on, we'll bunt them over. We really try and do situational stuff, get that down to a tee. And then with uh, – with the big lead, you don't have to try and pitch around guys. You can pitch to them. Go right at them. Go after them. Let them get themselves out. Have defense make plays behind you. You talked about the defense. I mean, you got an eighth grade catcher back there that you know, looks like you can stop about anything. Degas looks really good at third. You had another eighth grader at second base that made a nice play to finish things off for you. Um, it's got to be nice to, play, to have a defense like that behind you. It's, it's great. It means everything. Uh, you go out there and you don't have confidence in your people. You're going to try and over pitch and try to be too fine. And you're going to walk and guys getting guys on base. If you can go ahead. Let them hit the ball and have confidence that they're going to pick it up. It, it's night and day. Your pitching's been really solid over, I mean, not just you, but you've had a few other guys that have pitched pretty well. I mean, is that kind of the key to you guys making a little noise at State next week? Yeah, I think it's we're going to have to do a little bit of everything. I don't know if our pitching is going to be the best there, but I think overall we can field the ball, hit the ball, do everything a little bit better than everybody else maybe. You know, we're very fortunate to be able to make it back to uh, the state tournament three times. You know, we were talking about it after the game, how each one of our guys contributed to the win, especially against Atlantic. I mean, Atlantic had us on the ropes, and uh, they took us nine innings, and we were fortunate to win that game. And tonight, we uh, we came out and kind of put everything together. That's as uh, well as we played all year. And what's that say really about your team? I mean, I mean, you said you're fortunate round one. I mean, Carroll gave you quite a run there in the second round, but you jumped on them early. And really ended up being a pretty comfortable win for you here in round three. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes we play to the level of the opponent that we play, which I think is typical sometimes of high school kids. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason tonight, uh, you know, we got the hits to fall. Uh, you know, our two seniors came up big. Jake uh, really played well down at third, got the big base hit with the bases loaded, and David just threw an outstanding game and was kind of in control of it all the way. I'll let you talk about David a little more. I mean, it was, I mean, he looked very good out there and looked like he just kept getting better as the night progressed. I mean, what was working for him tonight? Well, you know, he's a, basically a three pitch pitcher, but his fastball change was really working. His changeup was his best pitch tonight. You know, he's keeping it down, keeping him off balance. And, you know, a lot of the times what you saw was uh, if you saw the lazy fly ball or the, or the ground ball was a changeup, they either, you know, were way out in front of him or rolled over. So, yeah, he, he, had, he was commanding the strike zone and, you know, he's been our big pitch or big uh, game pitcher, and uh, he's really performed well for us in, uh, in these clutch games. And the bats, I mean, you guys had the big inning after what I'm sure you thought should have been a big inning in the first. You only get the one there, but you come back with a big one in the second. I mean, obviously it's nice to have a big cushion, but, I mean, what, how were you guys able to piece that across with the big second inning? Well, you know, they helped us a lot. You know, Fisher, I don't think had his best stuff tonight, obviously. And he, he walked a few more guys than he normally does. And, you know, and again, in baseball, you, you just got to come up with a big hit at the at the right time. And we were able to do that tonight where a lot of nights you're not. And so we were just, you know, like I said, fortunate enough to, to have our best game tonight. Uh, a few days to few days of a break here before you get things going to Des Moines. I mean, I know a couple years ago you guys made quite a bit of noise up there. I mean, what, what's it going to take to make some noise up there again this year? Well, I, th I think the same thing you can say in any baseball game. You know, you got to throw strikes. Uh, you know, you need to pick up the ball, play defense, and uh, again, get some clutch hits. But uh, hopefully, we're relaxed and ready to go when we, when we go up there. I think we're well tested. We played, uh, you know, most of the tough teams in this area. We played Heelan, Lamar's a couple of times, Sioux City North, Sioux City East. We played a very tough schedule, so I think that'll, you know, prepare us for what we're going to see up in the morning.